I'm taking a break from bourbon. I'm switching to dirty martinis. I know you're Welcome not. Welcome back to Whiskey Row. Today we're talking dirty martinis. <laughs> no. Cheers. Tonight I'm going to tell you my 10 whiskeys to kind of fill my collection. Right. 10 bottles. They're going to be a great starter collection for you. And uh, honestly, they'd be a great collection for anybody these days. First up is my cocktail mixer, David. Old Forester 100 Proof Rye. That is a great cocktail mixer. And I, you know that uh, I love the 100 Proof Bourbon. Um, and you started playing around with cocktails and mixing the rye in. And you really like the rye. And I can't fault you for it. They make some amazing, amazing cocktails. I think they make the cocktails a little sweeter when you use the rye. But the bourbon's really good, too. And for your cocktail mixer, I mean, 25 bucks is not a bad deal for yeah, this. That's a great buy at 20, 25, 26 bucks, whatever is in your neck of the woods. But um, yeah, I think it's a stellar uh, stellar pick, stellar, great uh, starter bottle for your uh, for your collection. I would sip it neat too. That's actually really good too. Next would be a good budget sipper for $30. This is Bowman Brothers, small batch coming in at 90 proof. Yeah, that's a great one. Uh, coming out of A. Smith Bowman here in Virginia, just a, literally a few miles from our house. And they do some great stuff. The, the John J. Bowman, uh, it's about $50 is a great single barrel, very similar to like E.H. Taylor small batch and uh, Rock Hill Farm uh, from Buffalo Trace. Um, but this one is a great entry bottle. I think it's better than Buffalo Trace personally yeah. and uh, about the same price. Yeah, it's so good. Now, David, my collection has to have a 13th Colony and I chose the 13th Colony Southern Bourbon and we are coming in at 95 proof. How much is this baby, David? About $35. Uh, they're, the distribution on that's going up and up and up every month uh, from to different states and you can obviously find it online at different uh, uh, bourbon shops online. What I love about this one is that vanilla blackberries kind of creamy thing. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, it's really good for the price. And yeah, for the price, it's a really kind of an exceptional bottle. Like you said, it's got these really, really nice uh, berry uh, and peach fruit notes that I'm just a huge fan of. David. What? Ask me what I'm drinking tonight. What are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking Cooper's Craft 100 Proof. Um, yeah, this is another what, $35 bottle? Yeah, about $35. So I haven't had this in a while. Mm -hmm. And the notes I'm getting on the nose is this really nice like raspberry kind of um, pound cake, creme brulee. I've got brown sugars. I, I love sweet. Mm -hmm. and, and this one has a nice balance of sweet notes on it. It does. It's actually a pretty solid bottle. To me, it has a little bit of a, a bittery uh, blackened barrel at the finish, mm -hmm. but you get that with a lot of double oaks. I do at least. Mm -hmm. And and for me, it's uh, yeah, I think it's a great pick for $35. That's mm -hmm. for dang sure. Every collection needs a weeder, David. And okay. tonight we have Bernheim, which comes in at 125.2 proof. This is batch A224. And I just tried this the other night and I really like it. Yeah, so this is one that kind of slipped underneath my radar as well. It's um, they started coming out with Heaven Hill started putting these out, kind of like the Larcenies, where they're batched and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Bernheim, and now Larceny are all batched with different releases each year. Um, this is the first one we've had, and we were shockingly impressed. Yeah, the Turks actually brought it to the meetup and left it when they left. So yeah. thank you, Katie and Ethan. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Next up, we've got Wyoming Whiskey. This is double cask. It's coming in at 100 proof. Yeah, this is one that is fairly new to us. Just got a hold of it. It's actually sherry finished. So yeah. the double cask is a sherry cask. And it takes all of those good Wyoming uh, fruit notes and raises them to another level. And it's surprisingly good for, you know, around $60, $65. It's a darn good bottle. Yeah, everybody needs a, a finished one, David. What? What is one bottle that my collection has to have? Like, um, I have a guess, and it starts with it sounds like Mold Borister. Nope, wrong. Rare breed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dork. Okay, up next, guys. Old Forester, nineteen ten. You know I love it. It's ninety three proof, and it is just it's it. it this is the bottle that I fell in love with whiskey. Yes. This is the bottle that did that to me. Yeah, and it is it is a good bottle uh, for about $50, $55, depending on where you live. 
It's really available. It sits on the shelf. Um, it is uh, toasted. It, it's a finished toasted whiskey, and it's it's really, really nice. Toasted barrel whiskey, yeah. Yeah, and if you don't like it as sweet, try the 1920 because David loves the, yeah, 1920. I the 1920. So I'm a little sweeter. He's a little more, likes the little more oak and spice, so... Yeah, earlier you said he's a little more wrong, but that's okay. Yeah. We'll live with it. Next up, now this is a bottle, David, I feel like you should have in hand when you're going to an occasion. So this is Wild Turkey Rare Breed Barrel Proof. It comes in at... 115, 16 proofish. Yes. Sure. And yeah, that's a great bottle. It is, uh, that's fun. It's interesting that you pick this to, to like take places, to take, mm -hmm. share people. It is a great, great example of a tremendous bourbon. It sits on the shelf right around $60, $65, 50, excuse me, $55 to $60. Mm -hmm. And it will impress almost anybody. It's just such a solid, solid bottle. Well, I will say I don't love wild turkey, but I like like, I really like the Rare Breed. Yeah. It stands out amongst them. So I feel like I'm, you know, going to win the hearts of, like, most men and women if I brought this bottle. I feel like, you know, collectively I'll uh, win them over with my Rare Breed. There we go. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's so funny how you don't like Wild Turkey 101 very much. You don't like Russell's very much but there's something about rare breed the way they blend the different aged barrels together it just it's a tremendous tremendous bottle that you it's like great bottle now we're starting to really get into it i only we? see two bottles over there and they both are really really nice bottles so we need a rye in this group besides uh, besides the cocktail mixer you want a good rye i want a good rye and my rye is rye three um it's cast strength madeira yeah, this was a store pick, Madeira uh, cask finished, Rye 3. Rye 3 is doing some amazing stuff with rye whiskey. Uh, super big fans of it. 123.8 proof, I believe, is the math on that one. I feel like, um, I, I mean, I really like all the Rye 3 bottles. Yeah. We have a toasted, um, and then I've gotten to try the cigar blend. So, um, mm. yeah, if you haven't checked out Rye 3. It's, it's, if out. you're looking for a, what, this was about $80, $80. a good $80 uh, store pick. Look at Rye 3. $80 Rye 3 store picks are really, really nice. You have to have one special bottle. Mm -hmm. And I really like this bottle. I do, too. So I chose... E.H. Taylor Single Barrel, Bottled and Bond. This one is a really good bottle. Yep, 100 proof. Uh, retail on them is not that bad. It's only like $80. Now, you're mm -hmm. not going to find it for $80. You'll probably end up spending $150 for it, which is about what I'd say is a good value on that bottle. Um, they're tremendous. I love them. They're so really we've good. got, like, the the Buffalo Trace berries are are... Um, mm -hmm. So good in this vanilla creams. There's brown sugar, caramel. It's um, like what creme brulee kind of um, Danish kind of yeah. tasting. Yeah, it's a good bottle. It's a really good one. And the, the, the cool thing about this one is because it's a single barrel, even if you have buddies over that have had E.H. Taylor or E.H. Taylor single barrels because it's a single barrel, it's going to be unique. They're all slightly different. And so it's a great one to have. It's just like a special occasion type drink um, or a you know celebration type thing. It's very versatile that way. And uh, yeah, that's a good one. You're not allowed to put that in your collection, though. that stays in mine. Okay. Nope. My collection now. This is my 10 whiskey collection. Some 10 great bottles to be your uh, starter whiskey collection. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, good set of 10 bottles. If you guys like what we're doing here on Beyond the Road, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you like finding bottles that you love. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. I haven't had Cooper's Craft in a while. I haven't had a dirty martini in hours. How are you bringing that on my channel to film? Well, I'm taking a break from bourbon. I'm switching to dirty martinis. I know you're Welcome not. Welcome back to Whiskey Row. Today we're talking dirty martinis. <laughs> no. Cheers.